Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I want to show you how you can land every single shot with a Sturm Tiger. It's one of the best tanks in the game when used correctly and leaves both enemy tanks and infantry in a completely helpless situation. I don't know how many times I have caught this in on Aerodrome Breakthrough that turned the tide completely by killing all 5 of the British tanks they get from the start. And once they are destroyed, they don't get any more tanks other than calling in the Crocodile, which is simply also not a threat at this time. It is arguably the best 20,000 points you can spend for your team if you know there is a player who can use this tank correctly. And after watching this video, I hope there is no excuse for you to not be able to use it. I can almost guarantee you that you will now be haunting your squad leader to call you one of these. So, I'm sure most of you including me not too long ago, just sort of wing it every time you use a certain tiger. You kind of just, you know, guesstimate the distance and fire a rocket. And if it lands, great. If it doesn't, then you adjust. It is kind of a trial and error kind of situation every time. Eventually, you do get better at guesstimating, but it is not perfect. In the background video, you probably see me doing just that. I missed a rocket and then adjust, higher or lower, you know. That is fine, but it's not really the best way to achieve pinpoint accuracy. So I decided to test out most of the ranges and to give you a way to make sure all your rockets land on their targets. This is completely based on trials because the numbers on the scope reticle do not mean anything. They are just there for show. And pay no attention to that 100, 200, 300, and 400 on the right side. And since they haven't touched the Sturm Tiger rocket ballistics for a while, I'm quite comfortable that they are not going to mess with the numbers that would throw this off. So, on the screen now is a distance you want to memorize. These are going to be the distance to a target that is at the same vertical height as you. Remember that point. And if you need to shoot at an elevated target at a certain distance, then you need to aim slightly higher, and if they are below you, then slightly lower. But in Battlefield 5, most of the maps you're going to call the Storm Tiger in are pretty flat, so the adjustments you need to make is pretty minor. So, the center cross is going to be roughly 20 meters to 30 meters. Then the next cross here is roughly 50 meters. Then for 100 meters, I would start to suggest that you use the bottom of the cross instead of the center, and the same for the cross below it at roughly 150 meters. Then things beyond that gets a tad bit more tricky. Because of the drag, the shell continues to decelerate so it is not linear. It is also not realistic to be exactly on target while you are being shot at. So from here on, it will be more of an estimation but a pretty good one at that. Then I would divide the bottom of the screen in half. The halfway point would be roughly 210 to 220 meters, so I wrote 215 meters here. And the bottom of the screen will be at 250 meters. And there are several shots you will see later that are 260 meter shots, which I put right beyond the bottom edge of the screen. Just enough that I don't see the target. And the good thing is that the Serum Tiger has a pretty large blast radius. Even if you don't land directly on target, it should still deal a significant amount of damage and you just need a follow up shot. And for a direct hit, it can one hit kill a light and a medium tank and does roughly 92 damage to a heavy tank. Angle does not matter since the rocket deals pure blast damage with no impact damage. So now you're going to say, how am I supposed to find the distance? Well, all you need to do is to ping the target, and that's basically your range finder. You're going to see the distance below the ping, and with that, you're good to go. Anyway, so let's take a look at some examples here. So now we're going to see range of around 30 meters. That's almost like right in front of you. And here we see a stack count. Instant kill. Just aiming at right in the middle of the center. Now, this is going to be about 100 meters or so. Roughly 113. There's a sniper there. Right on him. And now there is a tank on the left side. It's roughly 100 meters. Right behind the rock. It is actually quite nice that you can arc the rocket to hit behind the rock. Alright, now, this is going to be a crocodile, I believe. And you see the ping right here. Roughly 120 meters or so. But he's moving up. 
I'm going to wait before firing, just so I definitely land a shot and he can't turn back. So roughly 100 meters now, since he moved up. Direct hits on him. It deals 92 damage. It's crazy. So I just need a follow-up shot. And there he goes. Pretty easy. And it looks like the enemy is taking B. Pop some flares. Looks like there are tons of people here. Since they are right in front of me, I'm just going to use the first cross here. And then land it right in the middle. Five kills. Nice. Alright. Looks like there is an archer here going to the resupply station. Roughly 100 meters. <laughs> One hit. There's simply no chance for any of these tanks. And yeah, there's one guy shooting at me on the left. About 100 meters, roughly the same distance. So that's a crocodile, I believe. So just another shot. And there he goes. Alright, now let's take a look at a little bit further distance at roughly 150 meters or so. Alright. Looks like they're taking A here. And there is the stack hound. 150 meters. Nailed him. <laughs> this is so satisfying. This is ridiculous. I love using this thing. Alright, there is a gun carrier about 120 meters or so. I totally overshot this. I was aiming for about 150 meters. Now he's backed up. Somewhere in between. 130 or so. Arced it. Killed him. Ah, uh, there's another tank on top. So let's ping him. 142 meters. Since he's a little bit higher up, aim a little bit higher. Right on him. Alright, let's take a look at around 220 meters or so. So there is a tank there. Pinged him. Roughly 220. Since we're at an angle, we just gotta adjust the center, pulling straight down. Got him. This is such a great feeling. Alright, let's take a look at a little bit further distance again. 250 meters. Looks like there is a tank destroyer half track there. 237 meters. I think I hit right behind him, but that's okay. That took him out. I was aiming for roughly 250, so... Could have aimed a little bit lower, but that's okay. Now this clip... I believe there's a tank on the right, yes. 262 meters. Right at the bottom of the screen. Got him. Oh, those tanks. Camping in the back. But I got a Serum Tiger. 226 meters. Lining him up at the bottom of the screen. Oh, I forgot to adjust since I was tilted here. So we gotta aim a little bit more right. And there he goes. That's it for this part of the guide. It will work on everything from killing tanks to pushing objectives. And don't forget to use the flares. You get two of them each time and it covers the entire objective and it can be extremely useful when attacking or defending an objective. I also want to recommend that if you see someone using a Sturm Tiger alone, please scan and help them out. Once a Sturm Tiger is swarmed by infantry, there is nothing the tanker can do other than switching to the grenade launcher top gunner. And what you can do is actually get into that seat. There is unlimited grenades you can launch, and you can actually get more kills with it than the main gun itself. And here you can see a clip of me cleaning out the bridge on Twisted Steel. I can almost guarantee you that the Sturm Tiger driver is going to be thrilled if you use those grenades to get rid of infantry trying to plant dynamites on them. Anyway, I hope you find this helpful. Don't call in sector artillery. This is going to be the best 20,000 points you spend. Calling those ins are nowhere near as good or as fun. Even if you don't get to drive it, get in that grenade seat. You will not be disappointed. So. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe, I will really appreciate it. If you don't, you know what to do. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you again soon.